All right, it's Shalom on my camera. First and foremost, I to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakak Badash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And we are the Hebrew Israelites, which consists of the Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, Sumo Indians, West Indians, and Haitians, and according to the Holy Scriptures, we're God chosen people. Shalom to all the beloved brethren out there, pushes knowledge and sincerity and truth. Shalom to the few sisters and shalom to Israelite forms who was who are scattered abroad. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And what you're looking at is a true depiction of one we call Jesus Christ, whose real name in the Hebrew is Yahweh Shai. <clears throat> okay. And what you're looking at is a true depiction of what they're going to call God, what they're going to call Jehovah, whose real name in the Hebrew is Yahweh. When you call upon the Most High and His Son, you must say Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh means He to be, or He is. Bahashem means in the name, and Yahweh Shai means He delivers. Our Lord and Savior has come back to deliver the elect out of the nation of Israel from the destruction of modern day Babylon, aka America. I want to say Brak de Yahweh, Brak de Yahweh Shai, Brak de Yahweh, Brak de Yahweh Shai, and the body Yahweh by Shim Yahweh Shai for another blessed day. And the body Yahweh by Shim Yahweh Shai for this opportunity, this Holy Spirit and 100% truth. And the body Yahweh by Shim Yahweh Shai for all you beloved brethren out there, push his knowledge and sincerity and truth, man. And Lord willing to the end. Okay. Coming back, catch you with another lesson. Uh, Ezekiel chapter 25, verse 12. Thus say Yahweh by Shem Shai, Lord God, because that Edom, who are the Edomites, the so called white, the so called white race, tongue twister, are the Edomites, the Caucasians, the elites of the society. You regular, you know, Joe Schmo out here, but we ain't worried about them. You understand? But. A lot of you Jakes, you Israelites, are still under this spell. You understand what I'm saying? They're going to come down with great wrath. And a lot of y'all are going to perish. You're going to see who's really your enemy real soon. You know, alluding to what happened in the subway with this uh, Edomite choking out this homeless man. You know, with a rear naked choke, a uh, Brazilian jiu-jitsu choke. In the Marine Corps, you call that blood chokes. And that's one of the, the moves I learned as a tan belt because they have a little curriculum of martial arts they teach you. And that ain't nothing, man. You see, this this war between Jacob and Esau is gonna is gonna come to a full force, a full force all-out fucking battle. Intergalactic spiritual power versus technology battle. With Michael the Archangel, the 144,000, and Yahweh Shai, of course, man. And you got to realize this war between Jacob and Esau goes all the way back to the Garden of Eden. Between the serpent and the woman. And it went to the, uh, between Jacob and Esau, two nations. Well, you know, went to the womb. You know, then the serpent came back as Esau. But the serpent in the garden was a man. It was it was uh, Esau, a man with pigmentation. So the Most High took away his pigmentation. Um, and he came back as Cain. And then he came back as Esau, reincarnation. I have to correct myself. So the serpent in the garden was Esau, and he came back as Cain, and then he came back as Esau. So what happened between Isaac and Rebecca were those two twins. Eternal twins, <clears throat> this thing been going on for quite some time. This is the most size uh, setup, his establishment, his movie, uh, prophecy taking place. The prophecy clearly says, Two nations shall be in thy womb, and two manner of people shall be separated, and one nation shall be stronger than another. And Esau got his blessing, and Jacob. Is about to receive his blessing. Esau is in his blessing right now. Now you go into the time frame of when we were kings. It was war between Judah and Edom. We, we, 
man. We go into the book of Kings, it breaks that down. You know, so Esau, you know, the Mosai is very fair and firm. Esau got his revenge, but his time is up. And we reading what the Lord is about to do to you, Edomites, because you have greatly offended the house of Judah and also the nation of Israel, man. The whole the whole nation. Going back to uh, Ezekiel 25 and 12. Thus said the Lord God, because that Edom had dealt against the house of Judah. So the house of Judah consists of what the head tribe, of course, were so-called African-Americans of America, so-called Negroes of America. And he did with the tribe of Benjamin, so-called West Indians, and the tribe of Levi, the, the so-called Haitians, at the house of Judah. Plain and simple. You understand what I'm saying? And we all have different uh, characteristics about, about ourselves. But once upon a time, we were all together as brethren, an unstoppable force. All the tribes, we were together as one. But that split happened after the sins of King Solomon. <clears throat> you know, the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom divided themselves, man. And we, uh, and, and pretty much now the Lord is bringing us back. The second Adam, Yahweh Shai had to come to uh, shed his blood to bring us back. As one unto Yahweh. But our, our our enemies will pay for all their calamities and catastrophes and atrocities, their barbarities would have done unto us, man. Starting over the house of Judah by taking vengeance and had greatly offended. Not offended, greatly offended us, man. And revenging themselves upon them. Peep this. Europeans which is Esau been eating our melanin melanin raw. Look up delectable Negro. Delectable Negro. The heads of our of our ancestors are in jars in root in Europe. And that's what it did to the um they have the skull and bones have an actual skull of a forefather of the tribe of Gad Geronimo. That they drink and do whatever crazy shit out of, man. We are in a fucking war, man. Get your head out your fucking ass. Stop looking at, looking at your brother as, a, as your enemy. Whatever the fuck you got going on with you, man. And concentrate on this war. Concentrate on getting your mind right. Getting your, getting your spirit right. We, we are all we got, man. Okay? And then is to put us alive on spits with a fire beneath it and turn us and roast us until we dehydrate it. And they pick up pieces of the bodies and hundreds of whites will be standing and taking pictures with a body piece in their hand. They have the pictures, they show the pictures in the book. on your own man you understand that's that jake from menace to society when he had we actually met that this brother man me want the zock and the other jake that was with us downtown la one time after cam chopping it up in the parking lot and one of the brothers said you know you done fucked up right and, he, and he's, he's a pretty tall jake forgot his name man so these are the things you can't forget so everything Esau has done to is like it's just vengeance, it's, it's war. But but Israel will get the upper hand. You understand? Because the Mosai hates Esau and he loves Jacob. But Esau got his fair share. Now his time is up. You understand what I'm saying? Beloved Apostle R, man. Shalom to the apostles and elders. You the first one that brought us information out about the delectable Negro. So come on, man. You having issues with brethren, whatever? That's Satan, man. We all we got, brothers. <clears throat> and you see all that one. And I'm kind of upset 
that either Esau, that motherfucker was a Marine because we learned those moves in the Marine Corps, especially if you were the ground command element. And ground command element, it doesn't matter what your MOS is, what's your job, you have to go out there and do these uh, urban warfare. You got to do, uh, um, um, you know, when 9 11 happened, they, they started speeding us up on a lot of training. We did a lot of training, man. We went out in the field. I, I was in food service, so we got spun up in urban warfare, convoy, convoy operation. Um, I, man, we were doing a lot of shit, doing hikes, doing all kinds of shot exercises, throwing grenades, just, uh, uh, fire team rushes. So every Marine was, was learning the basics, man, in case you get called for whatever, because every Marine was a rifleman to hear that punk motherfucking pussy. That's a homeless man. He ain't no fucking Marine. He's a pussy. Because one of the things they taught us. Now I did that. I did that man. They told us deadly force is the last resort. But in war. Kill, kill, kill. Or the motherfucking blood spill. Fuck out of here man. But hey. That's the Lord showing you. Who your fucking enemies are. Now, with, with them, uh, BJJ, I train Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Encourage a lot of brothers, you know, I fuck with do it. Brothers is doing all praise y'all by Shimi Al Shai. They teach y'all to restrain your opponent. Teach y'all to submit, not to kill, which these techniques, certain techniques can kill a person. In Marine Corps, they show you how to kill. But it's, it's certain restraints. So now you and the truth, we have laws and commandments. Can't just run out here and just kill people, man. When the rules of war, kill or be killed. So we in a fucking war, man. So the time is going to come. And Esau is going to raise up against Jacob. The time of Jacob's trouble. And the Lord is going to give the 144,000 to, to, to fight. To put our enemies down. It's, it's going to get that bad out here, brothers. And you few sisters. Like, this ain't no fucking joke. This ain't no fucking game, man. You understand what I'm saying? So when you go into the Book of Kings, read the Book of Kings. When we was in power, what we did to the asses. We we got some. We got it. We fucked Esau asses up too. But this is the type of history they they hide from our people. So it's like, it's a back and forth. But but Israel would get the upper hand. So that's why he was given the ability to brutalize whatever. But he has greatly offended. He went too far with it, man. So the Lord is going to exterminate. The Most High just set up the Edomites to, to, to prove a point. To, so prophecy can be fulfilled. To teach us a lesson. Because Israel will be immortals under the second covenant. We are not under the second covenant. All right? When our body gets changed in the twinkle of an eye, and all that, we're going to be under the second covenant. You understand what I'm saying? It starts with this truth, but our body must be changed. Okay? When we become immortals, we're going to put our enemies to flight. Even though praise the Yahweh by Shimei Shah, man. So that's it on this video. It's going back to Ezekiel 25. I've been rambling too much. Salakia. Thus say the Lord God, because it's Edom. Adamomium in the Hebrew means red. They are not white. They are red. Had dealt, had dealt against the house of Judah by taking vengeance. And had greatly offended and had revenged himself upon them. Therefore, thus said the Lord God, I will also stretch out my hand upon Edom. You Edomites. And I will cut off man and beast from it. And I will make it. Desolate from teeming and from the Dan shall fall by the sword. And I will lay my vengeance upon Eden by the hand of my people, Israel. That's all the tribes. Because the southern kingdom caught it. The northern kingdom caught it. The northern kingdom caught it first with the conquistadors time frame. All right. The Spanish-speaking tribes and the native tribes was over here in the Americas since 724 BC around that time frame. So around the 1400s, the conquistadors was laying our native brothers and sisters down, man. They was doing all types of barbaric shit. You understand what I'm saying? 
we still held strongholds in the dark ages around that time until the Lord brought in that plague and all that stuff. And eventually, the house of Judah got put into slavery, the transatlantic slave trade. Okay? We are one nation coming back, man. But who catches the most in America? The Negro tribe. Just be real, man. Just be real. My northern brothers and sisters, you guys can blend in, whatever, but it's all about your spirit. It's all about it because we got some beautiful northern brothers, man, and, and they, they, they bought this life and Lord willing to the end, man. Shalom to all you brothers, man. You understand what I'm saying? And it says, I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel. They shall do and eat them according to my anger, according to my fury. And they shall know my vengeance, say, Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai, man. I don't need to pull no priest. This priest right here, meditate on that. So the Lord is going to put his spirit upon us, his anger, that spiritual power. Because we're going to need divine intervention. We're going to need Michael standing up for us. Because this man has great technological advances. And a lot of you Jakes, just get on a, on a low level. You're not training. You're not doing shit. You're, you're stuck. So you're, you're easy kill. So a lot of Jakes are going to die, man. Prepare your minds for that. Shalom.